We are bright and early today. Uh, okay. Is anybody looking at me? Ow, funny bone. Back up. A lot of y'all ask me about the discharge chute. Why do I use it? Because it, I don't want to spray the yard. I don't want to spray the house or the siding with this grassy weedy stuff. So it helps clean it up. It, although it does clog up sometimes. So for that reason, I will remove it. So take your top off, boys. <clears throat> I'm gonna spend it all. Out of the title but because I was thinking about the title because I'm filming a video I miss I didn't realize I sprayed the neighbor's side so if you ever spray the neighbor's driveway on accident it's okay just go blow it before they come up I'm two for two of my cold starts
gonna spend it all I don't know I'm gonna change Bible is for for myself when I was my when I was a kid what the Bible it confused me and scared me look this is from the last time I came it's from my Toro 22 I was mowing with it but I knew I forgot it but I didn't want to come back and get it because I got my new mower back or I got my old mower back so it's kind of the new old kind of like what the Bible is it's funny ironic today is the same as before is the same as what will come is before so this is like finding like ruins like finding like like the like the stories of the Bible it's just you can look at the Bible as history, you can look at the Bible as God's chronology with man, you can look at the book as history or psychology or both at the same time, because it is. Um, but in different ways, like say if I died, you guys, and you guys found this, you would think, you would think, oh, did Zach mow? It would be a clue as to where this came, where, what came before this mower would be, this would be a clue, that's what the Bible is, and it's the clues of God, so 
if you care about that, that's what the Bible is. It's just finding old shit. And then whose word is it? Who knows who left this, right? But we could find out. You could ask my mom, my dad, my friends. You could watch my videos because I posted a video of me here before. Actually, interestingly enough, if you go back, so the Bible is just connections and clues that all coincide in it. It's so crazy because it gets so deep. You can get, uh, I don't know how deep you want to get. Why we're fascinated with gold, who the Nephilim were, why they didn't get destroyed, Sumeria, Gilgamesh, all this stuff. I don't know. Okay, but yeah, that's what the Bible is. It's just clues. Like that's a clue for mowing and God created mowing. So if you like mowing, you should like God. two for three. And just like there's an Old Testament and a New Testament, look, there's a front yard and a back yard. And in fact, the front is the light and the back is the dark. Not saying that the old and front, the old and the new is the dark and the light, but it's examples. If you read the beginning of the Old Testament and you read the beginning of the New Testament, the words are kind of the same, aren't they? And if you know the stories of the two in the Old Testament, basically, I'll give you a one minute summary for both to make it easy for you, because I wish somebody would have told this to me because I had to figure this out. The Old Testament, God loved the righteous so much that he destroyed the world to save the one righteous one, Noah, right? 
in order to protect also the world from sin and stuff so he destroyed the world right but in the new testament it's basically the same story inside out where god loved the world so much that he gave his own and only son to die that man became god so god became man so ultimately it's like the old testament is what happened and the new testament is like how it happened and it's completely the same as duality what do you think God might stand for a game of duality? I don't know. But why is there an old testament? Why can't there just be one testament? Why has it got to be an old and new? Why is there a light and a dark? I don't know. You ask yourself these things if you want to, or if not, I'll just keep knowing. I'm sorry. I know God specifically is Elohim, Elo Elohim, right? I'm not saying G-O-D stands for Game of Duality, I'm just merely proposing a thought because it kind of helps just put everything together because it, it doesn't contradict, it coincides and complements anything. Think about it. Why Elohim? Why God? Why Elohim? Which is a more plur a plural version versus G Jesus, Yahweh, Yeshua, right? Which is more singular and specific, right? Um, hmm. I forgot what I was gonna say. Actually, damn, it happens sometimes. Oh yeah. See, you just gotta get started. See, this could be the reason why on some in some verses God says, "Turn the cheek." If you're hurt when Jesus was crucified, he didn't hurt, he didn't fight back and he wasn't supposed to. And then on one it says, do not ever hurt your brother, love your brother. And then another God asked for sacrifices and could demand for families and children and even whole areas to be wiped out. How can the same God do two things, right? Because people say it's contradictory. It is, if you look at it from like a very surface level and you don't ask, if you don't go within, it looks very contradictory, so you should ask. But if you have beliefs, don't leave them unidentified, figure out why. We all, I started the same way before. I used to think none of this makes sense, but the world made less sense, and now God makes all the sense. So I don't know. You tell me. So if you want to get really deep, right, if the Old Testament is what happened and the New Testament is how it happened, well, yeah, right, let's say just the first and second verses of Genesis, or chapters of Genesis. In the beginning it says, uh, God created the heavens and the earth, and it says in the second chapter that God created Eve by putting Adam under a deep anesthesia and pulling out his rib. So, man, so God created us in the first chapter, and in the second one, he says how we were made. We were freaking put under anesthesia. We were created not by a vaginal birth like my baby came out or you or I came out or so we think is a very different type of birth and no one thinks about that. They just take it as like, oh, just take the rib and make a human. Yeah, that's why he did it. It's in front of you. What does that mean? It's exactly what he's talking about. We weren't, this is why y'all keep commenting that y'all are lost and confused because y'all don't know this. Y'all don't know where we came from. But the cool part is this took me like three weeks to realize. So if you really want to know, 
I did this all on my freaking own while y'all are calling me crazy and I'm mowing, doing all these jobs, I'm learning all this stuff. So at least I could kind of help you out because it doesn't cost money. And all you got to do is ask me questions and I can give you answers because if you have an ear, I can let you hear. But if not, then I guess I'll stay clear. I don't know why I just did that to my trimmer. I've probably said too much I'm sailing away oh, I thought my- Do you ever feel like your shit got stolen? I, I just remembered it's in the backyard, thank god dun, 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 dun. But you know, you should not, you're not supposed to thank god for the miracles on this earth You're supposed to thank him for your relationship with him And that's where you should get your joy, not from money or not having your stuff stolen so, Look, I, I make mistakes, but I realize that and I learn. Try to be better. Damn, I sprayed this. You know what's funny? I told y'all a lot of my customers tried to give me their equipment. He tried to give me this. I never took it. Is this worth money, y'all? Ryobi mower, trimmer, edger. It's just been there waiting for me. <clears throat> oh yeah, I was gonna say something too. This stuff is so deep and it's so fun that I'm seriously contemplating just telling like my new customers that I'm busy and making my voice feel that I'm full because I just really want to keep learning this word and Maybe it like two or four weeks out just to really learn it. Cause I don't, I have to keep dealing with new callers. I already got like 70 plus callers and I got to keep dealing with the new ones. It's good, but I want something more than the money. I got a lot of money, right? So do you, I want this wisdom. So that's how interestingly deep it is. If you're wondering, cause you can do that when you're, that's why I started my own business to do what I want. thing is to do what you want is not necessarily the right thing you should want to do what god wants you to do which is better for you we don't get what we want our parents don't give us what we want they give us what we think we should have to take care of us just like they're not right all at the same time but they're trying right so hmm i forgot what i was saying again to y'all though every time i film and i look at the footage when i'm editing it i see all the areas i miss because i'm focused on filming that's the crux of doing something right i could mow and do a good job but now i'm focused on angles is it still filming i'm thinking about the filming i'm thinking less about the work so like i'm crucifying myself or my business for this channel and that's what you have to do for the greater good right because if not how could i share this content think about it if jesus christ if you and the father are one but he is greater than you and he lives within you because the kingdom of heaven is within you and it tells you how to inherit the kingdom of heaven right you have to be you have to do something for the greater good so i could just film i mean i could just mow make money but i could 
cut my attention in half just like uh, it's hard to explain the the folly of man is that you ask me why i talk so fast because i think about a million things at once and then now i gotta decode it into language that i'm not perfect at because it's words and then you have to receive it decode it back and you have to interpret it like only 50 percent is me talking fast 50 percent is you not listening fast enough it's really it's crazy but i'm just sharing what's on my mind because i'm not i'm not really thinking about mowing i'm thinking about going all right well let's just call this done but add two minutes to it but in reality i didn't even tell you how much i'm getting paid for it so it shouldn't matter right so here's my yard hope i got a good thumbnail what y'all think